feel like I'm forgetting something. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a anti-haul. Basically, I'm gonna be telling you the things that I will not be buying that have either launched or are launching very soon. Um, and then basically my reasons as to why. So if you basically have been around YouTube, the beauty area, you know what an anti-haul is. But if you are excited or curious as to the things I am not buying and why, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. All right guys, so I am going to basically be doing what I've done before. I'm gonna pull up either screenshots or Trend Mood's page. And if you don't follow Trend Mood, it's Trend Mood One on Instagram. She does all of the newest launches, anything that's coming out, new brands, all that fun stuff. So go ahead and check her out because she's really awesome and really like up to date and quick. So the first thing that I am not going to be buying is going to be the Huda Beauty Nymph All Over Highlighting Powder. And this is the powder right here. I'm trying to get it so it's not blinding you with my ring light. So I do think it's a really pretty highlighter. However, I just don't put highlighter anywhere on my body except for my face. It does show when she did like a little tutorial with it that you can put it on your face. But for me, I feel like it's going to be a little bit too thin and too kind of glittery. So I'm just not into it really. I think it's pretty, the packaging is pretty. It looks huge, but it's just not something that I'm going to buy. And I believe it is $40, yeah. So it's just not something I'm really into. So ColourPop is launching a new collection, Wild Nothing, tomorrow actually at 10 a.m. And um, I'm just not into it. There are a few things that I'm a little curious about. Like there are some really big blushes and they're called, they're just pressed powder blush compacts. I really, really love blushes. I love big blush compacts. So that one I might be looking into, but like the Jelly Beam highlighters they have coming out. I'm just not really a fan of um, the palette. It just honestly, it's very bland. And I feel like if you have similar colors, which I'm certain you do if you have several palettes, it's nothing special to me. And then they have a like pigmented lip oil. So, but for me, if I have lip oils, I like them to be as sheer as possible because they are oily. So they will start to like kind of smear when you're talking and stuff. So I really don't want them to be colorful. So I'm going to be passing on that. Um, I know a lot of people are really excited about ColourPop and I'm just kind of over them. I think that they come out or they came out with so much stuff so fast that it kind of just made me stray away from them. So if that makes any sense. So the next thing is not beauty related, but she is part of the beauty community. And that is the new Desi sunglasses. Um, I just, for me personally, I don't mind Desi. I like her. I think it's fantastic that she's having a baby and all of that. Like her videos are what I grew up watching. That's how I kind of got onto YouTube. But I think that $75 for sunglasses that I could probably get on Shein or Forever 21 or something like that for like $10, $15 is where I'm going to go. I just don't think with her being a new brand, I think $75 is a bit pricey for sunglasses. Um, and I don't even really wear sunglasses because I get a migraine if anything is pressed here. It's the same reason I wear contacts. I can't have anything sit on my nose for too long or I get a headache. So it's to me, it's not worth paying $75 for it. And none of them... I really find appealing. They're just really kind of weird shapes. I don't know if you can see it here, but it is on Trend Mood's page. Um, and I think one of them is 65, but then the rest are 75. And I'm sorry, there are two pairs that are 85. No, thank you. Moving on. So currently Morphe is launching a sister line, which is called Morphe 2. And it looks like the products right now that they're coming out with is a gloss for your eyes and your lips. And then the cheek and lip mousse, they're doing more of them. Like the one that I did, I reviewed for the Maddie Ziegler collection. I did not like that formula, so I will not be buying those. Um, they do have a hint, hint skin tint. I'm more of a full coverage person, so none of this really is appealing to me. So if you like a very natural, very subtle look, 
then you're probably going to love this. And then they have a gloss pop face and eye gloss. And I don't like, I don't know what's happening in the beauty industry that we're taking gloss and putting it on top of our face. I don't know if like that's a trending thing. I don't get it. I don't like it that everything everywhere gloss was a bust. The balm that Morphe came out with Maddie's thing to me was a bust um, unless you're wearing like no makeup at all. I just feel like that kind of stuff really breaks down and feels yucky on your skin. So to me, I am not interested in those. If you like natural makeup, that's probably going to be a line for you. So another thing that is coming out is Patrick Ta. He's coming out with a softening lip mask and a milky mist. And I'm just, and I think there's a face one too, Major Glow, Softening, Dewy, yeah, and a face and body balm. I have no problem with, I don't even honestly know who he is. I know he's in the beauty industry. I know he's a makeup artist, but I've not really been intrigued by any of his products. So if you guys have bought his stuff and you like it or don't like it, comment below and let me know. And maybe I'll try something, but I don't think this is going to be it. Like, it might be a blush or something. Um, he had that, like, uh, wax brow stuff. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. But, like, I don't have naturally full brows. They just kind of come in sparse. So, for me, it would look really weird. I would just look like I have, like, few hairs flung up. So, um, I just really have never been into or kind of, like, grabbed with his launches so so the next thing that i am not buying is the born this way matte 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation oh my god um from Too faced one i don't really care for Too faced as a company not gonna get into that not what we're here for but i don't like the born this way products i have never liked them i've tried them several times and I have issues. I don't mind. I did use the concealer one time. I have it right here actually. And I've only used it like twice. It's the Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer. It was a little bit too thin. So I don't really use that either. But as for the foundation, the original one, it used to literally make my skin look so dry and crusty. And everyone swore by it. And every time I hear someone go, oh, you should try this foundation. And then they say it and I'm just like no like i i just can't so i will not be trying that product um because i don't like the other one and anything that is like super super matte i'm not here for and i really don't like when people are like 24 hour wear who's wearing their foundation for 24 hours like yeah i want it to be long wearing but like I wear my makeup for 10 to 12 hours max, maybe a little bit longer if you're working a double shift. But if you wear your foundation and not because you forgot to wipe it off for 24 hours, comment down below and let me know what you were doing that you were awake and up and wear makeup for 24 hours because your girl ain't doing it. Um, I'm not going to be buying the new Patrick Star uh, makeup removing stuff. Um, the spray kind of intrigued me, but I'm really just not into it. I prefer the way that I, the stuff that I use, but I 100% do not want the makeup removing wipes. I think that we are well past makeup removing wipes and I'm really excited that Patrick was able to start his own line and like that's exciting and good on them, but I just don't like makeup wipes. Like they're not good for your skin. They're not good for the environment. I understand that they're fast and easy, but like if you wear as much makeup as I do, like a full, full face, those wipes are not getting your makeup off. So you should not be using them because at that point you're just wasting your money Use a balm, use a micelle water, use a uh, makeup eraser. Those things get off quicker and you have them longer. This is random, but ColourPop came out with a freckle pen and I'm not buying it. I'm not, I'm not going to do things that just because they're trendy if I don't like them. Like the fake freckles, I don't like that. I have a few freckles, but nothing crazy. Um, and it's just like, that was something that people were made fun of for having when I was growing up and it's like, now you want to make it trendy now it's cool like all these poor people who were picked on who had freckles which by the way freckles are beautiful 
now you want to do it because it's trendy so the last item on my list is going to be the dose of colors they're coming out with two new eyeshadow palettes it's the smoky soiree 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 and cutting edge so i have had their palettes before and i just i'm i don't go to them i don't use them enough they're not terrible palettes they do have pigment they have a little bit of fallout but I just don't grab for them and I wound up giving them away. And these colors are just very like, meh. Like there's nothing really cutting edge about this palette. Like I'm sorry, there's just not like at all. Like I could see the other one being smoky, but like as for cutting edge, like that's, so I just don't, and I, I don't know. Dose of Colors is like one of those things, one of those companies where you're like, take it or leave it. I have a couple lipsticks from them that I really like, but that's about it. Like their eyeshadows just were not what people had made them out to be. Um, and I just, I wasn't a fan when I bought them. So that is it for today's video, guys. Those are the newer things that I will not be purchasing and why. Now, disclaimer, if you guys like those products, if you like those companies, that's fine. I just don't like those products and that's why this is my anti haul so don't take it personally I'm not bashing those companies I'm not bashing the products it's just things that I do not plan on buying or adding to my collection if there's a product that I mentioned that you're not gonna buy comment down below and tell me why you're not buying it and if you already bought something that I listed that I'm not buying tell me how you like it was it good was it worth it did you like it but as always guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I I will see you on the next one. Bye.